So when we got done with our hike, we went over there and had a heck of a meal at the farmer's market. It really gives you a local feel. That's what goes on at Garibaldi Plaza in Mexico City. Well, except when some of the mariachis pull out guns and start shooting people. So what we'll do is we'll take a break, and I'll tell you about gunmen dressed as mariachi musicians and the havoc they reach reach in Garibaldi Square. News Talk 710 KNUS. Hey, everybody, it's Mike, and you know for over 15 years I've been going to the Dominican Republic and I've been taking baseball equipment down there, baseball equipment that you've given me, new, used. It's been tremendous. It's been wonderfully well-received down there because they don't have a lot of money, but they have a lot of baseball love and they have a lot of baseball skills. Well, I'm going to go again on January 12th. It's going to be the last time I'm going to the Dominican Republic to supply equipment down there. I'm leaving January 12th. I'll be back on the 19th. It's a one-week stay. We're going to fly into Punta Cana. We're going to stay in La Romana at the beautiful, all-inclusive Iberostar Resort right on the beach but one day the Rockies organization down there is going to take us out to a very poor village and we will supply them with bats and balls and gloves they're playing with cardboard for gloves they're playing with socks wrapped in duct tape for balls it is a wonderful wonderful experience if you've got equipment and want to get it to me just contact me through my email at mike at mike or bring it to one of my boil lunch punches but join me in the Dominican Republic January 12th through the 19th 2019 Drink and Dine at Viewhouse Littleton, the newest rooftop restaurant and bar on historic Main Street in downtown Littleton. Viewhouse's chef-driven menu offers delicious grass-fed steaks, burgers, and signature entrees that are local when possible, organic when available, and always fresh. Viewhouse Littleton is now offering breakfast every Saturday and Sunday from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. Enjoy morning classics like their hearty pancakes, omelets, and cold-pressed juices, or try their twist on classics like cornflake French toast, Southwest Carnitas Benedict, or their 32-ounce giant Bloody Mary. Also known for their impressive happy hour menu, locals and tourists alike love to unwind after work with their stunning Rocky Mountain view. Booking an event? Viewhouse Littleton has unique spaces available, from a private dining room to creative indoor and outdoor spaces. Viewhouse offers memorable dining experiences or team building activities with great local entertainment. Visit viewhouse.com to see menus, book an event, or stay up to date on upcoming parties and events. Hey, everybody, Mike Ball, host of the Restaurant Shows. And if you've listened to my Restaurant Shows with any regularity, you know that I love pizza. I consider pizza to be one of our four basic food groups. Yes, indeedy. And when I'm in Castle Rock, which I am often because I live there, I like to stop at Stumpy's Pizza. Stumpy's Pizza, 138 South Wilcox. That's Wilcox in the Plum Creek exit just off of I-25. Stumpy's Pizza has been around for years now, coming up on almost 20 years. Family owned and operated by the Stump family. That's how it became as known as Stumpy's Pizza, New York-style pizza. Plenty of toppings, whether you want the pepperoni, the sausage, they do a great job. Buffalo wings, they have a full-service bar with lots of Colorado craft beers. They're open six days a week, Tuesday through Sunday, closed on Monday. They serve lunch and dinner, and I know that they would love to see you. So whether you want to do dine-in, take-out, or have it delivered, stop by Stumpy's Pizza at 138 South Wilcox in Casserole and tell them you heard about it from Mike Boyle on The Restaurant Show. Go to 710knus.com to download our free mobile app and listen to 710knus on your phone anytime, anywhere. Message and data rates apply. All right, 24 minutes after 11 o'clock on a beautiful uh, Colorado Sunday. I don't know about you, but when I get up here at noon, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to jump on my bike. I'm going to go knock out 20, 25 miles and uh, got a little bit of exercise this morning, but we're going to get a little bit more. And uh, then if um, if uh, the past has uh, proven to be indicative of today and the future, I will get home and uh, I'll get that Bronco game on 2.33 o'clock whenever I get back and uh, stretch out on the couch, fall asleep and wake up later at about halftime. 303-696-1971. Gunmen dressed as mariachi musicians kill five, wound eight in Mexico City Plaza. Dozens of mariachi bands were serenading couples and families in Mexico City when five men disguised as musicians unleashed a hail of gunfire. Five people were killed and several others were wounded Friday after a group of men wearing traditional mariachi suits descending on, descended on the city's iconic Plaza Garibaldi and opened fire at a restaurant, the city prosecutor's office said. Police found three people dead and two others were taken to hospital where they later died. 
The victims were identified as three men and two women whose ages ranged from 22 to 46, officials said. A foreigner who was not identified was among the eight others who were wounded, the prosecutor's office said. Gunmen fled on motorcycles after the shooting, officials say, and were still on the run as of Saturday night. Local authorities said it was unclear why the men opened fire. The shooting took place as crowds kicked off Mexico's Independence Day celebrations on Friday. Nothing like celebrating an independence with a good shooting. On Friday and during a busy night at Plaza Garibaldi, a popular square where mariachis play around the clock for tourists and locals. The roots of mariachi music in Mexico City can be traced to a bar that dominates one side of the plaza. Gunshots, gunshots could be heard over the footage of a man playing La Cucaracha on a large harp. Video footage, listen, I shouldn't, I mean, isn't, doesn't life, it, it truly is weirder than fiction. Video footage also shows dozens of police officers at the square in the aftermath of the shooting. They could all be seen standing next to an area sealed off with yellow tape and near the bronze statue of Javier Solas, the Mexican singer who was popular for his boleros and mariachi ballads. ballads. As some mariachis continued playing music as usual, they they, they just get, you know, hey, amigo, let's keep playing. Uh, they probably didn't. You know what? One nice thing about mariachi music is that when you really think about it, you know mariachi bands. You know there's going to be the obligatory trumpets, right? And one thing about my amigos from down south, and I love Mexico, I love the country, the colors, the beaches, the sand, the sun, and the music. If a mariachi band has three trumpets, they figure 12 trumpets will be really good. So my guess is that there was probably so damn much noise that people didn't even know that there was a shooting going on. Um, and like I said, um, some mariachi bands just continued playing as usual. 303-696-1971, 303-696-1971. Um, I want to um, talk about books because you have recommended a couple of great books. I want to talk about a movie that was based on one of the books that you recommended. But before I do that, uh, I want to remind you of a couple of events coming up. This Wednesday in Colorado Springs, I'm going to be at the Academy Hotel, 8110 North Academy, and it will be the 8th Annual Fall Food Festival. It is a Taste of Douglas County shrunk. Um, Taste of Douglas County, this was the 16th Annual. This will be the 8th Annual Fall Food Festival. Douglas County Events Center, this is in the lobby of the Academy Hotel. It's a fabulous, fabulous place for it. Multi-level fireplaces, fountains, atrium, all of that type of stuff. The restaurants set up there. It's really easy to move around and check out all the different restaurants. Uh, but because of the size, you know, at the uh, Taste of Douglas County, we have, uh, I don't know, 40, 42, 45, 48 restaurants. Well, at this, we have about 30, but the variety is unbelievable. Hacienda Villarreal Mexican food, Paravicini's Italian Bistro, Thai mint serving, obviously, Thai cuisine. That's just a few of them. We've got Zoe's Kitchen, Neater's Bakery and Cafe, Dickie's Barbecue, Colorado Smokehouse Barbecue. We have Rita's Italian Ice and Colorado Colonel's Gourmet Popcorn. And we even have Dairy Queen passing out their Dilly Dilly Bars, Airplane Restaurant with their crab stuffed mushrooms with hollandaise sauce, the Falcon Bar and Grill right in the Academy Hotel, the Mason Jar been around since November of 1982. We uh, have uh, Sugarland Sodas coming, J.P. Fizzy's. J.P. Fizzy's is a new restaurant out on Garden of the Gods that is an old-time soda fountain. And the people that make the sodas are called soda jerks. Even in 2018, even in this age of political correctness run amok, they are called soda jerks. And uh, they serve a lot of the uh, products from Sugarland Sodas. As a matter of fact, I had them on the air yesterday briefly in Colorado Springs. And they brought me one of those pure cane sugar pepsis the original pure cane sugar pepsi oh i know it has caffeine and oh i know it has sugar and i know it has. so what 
Get out and ride your bike 20 miles like I'm going to do, and then either have one of those or a cold Coors Light. It won't hurt you a bit. But at any rate, uh, uh, they're going to be there. Sugarland Soda's JP Fizzies is going to be there. By the way, when you go to Mexico, that's the kind of Pepsi they serve in Mexico. And that's one of the reasons. Another reason I like to go down there because I like that. You know, maybe you've had a nice day. You're sitting at the pool, and it's noon, 1 o'clock. You have them give you a glass of ice, and you pour that nice cold Pepsi Pure Cane sugar right on that ice, and it is good, 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 good. And then, of course, about 5, 6 o'clock, you settle into the Trace um, Trace Equis or the uh, Dos Equis or the, uh, or the Modelos or whatever you happen to drink down there. Uh, but uh, some of the other places that are going to be involved, Black Eyed Pea will be there. They always do a terrific job. So if you want to join me, it's this Wednesday, the 19th, from 5 o'clock until 8 o'clock. Tickets are $20 at the door, but only $10 in advance. And, yes, your tickets do include food. Kiva Juice is going to be there with smoothies. The back of your ticket includes a free Kiva Juice smoothie when you go to the store. Artisano Bread is going to be there from Sarah Lee, passing out loaves of bread. Uh, We've had a number of places say they're going to be passing out coupons. Crave cannot make it this year. Um, They're uh, going through some staffing challenges, but I will be giving everybody, while they last, it comes a – coupon for Crave Real Burger. So, you know, the way I say it is not only do you get your money's worth, but by the time you get the loaf of bread and the Kiva Juice smoothie and this and that and so forth and so on, uh, not only do you get your money's worth, but there's a pretty good chance you get your money back. All right. And then on Saturday, coming up this Saturday, I'm going to Hyderabad, H-Y-D-E-R-A-B-A-D. That is a town in southern India. Most of us know Indian cuisine as northern Indian. Chicken tikka masala, butter chicken, sag paneer, tandoori chicken. You know what I'm talking about. The lentils, the uh, aloo gobi, uh, that type of stuff. Well, southern Indian cuisine is a little bit different. And when you think about it, you know, India is a huge country. They've got, what, a billion, billion and a half people. And they speak something like 34 languages. I mean, it's if you've ever been to India, and I have, it is absolute chaos. But at any rate, the food's very good. Hyderabad is serving not only the northern Indian food, but they're serving southern Indian food, which is dramatically different, and it's really good. They've got a dish called biryani, B-I-R-Y-A-N-I, and it's a big rice bowl with goat or seafood or chicken or vegetarian. Um, we're going to be doing a, uh, a couple of other dishes as well. It'll be $7.10 that Saturday. It'll go from 4 o'clock until 7 o'clock. You can dine in or take out. They make their own desserts, and they have really good pastries, and they have a liquor license. So please join me Wednesday at the Fall Food Festival at the Academy Hotel, and then please join me Saturday. Did I see Please join me Wednesday at the Fall Food Festival, and then please join me Saturday at the Hyderabad restaurant. Speaking of that J.P. Fizzy's uh, soda fountain and so forth, <clears throat> what they do is if you want a burger or a sandwich, then they have a condiment bar. And you might have um, mustard, hot mustard, French mustard. You might They have about 80 different condiments, and you kind of build your own burger, what you want on it. Yesterday, when the manager came by, he also brought some homemade potato chips. I am a potato chip freak. Lay's Originals, Ruffles, Nacho Chips, whatever, whatever. I mean, I love chips. And I really like homemade potato chips, and that's typically what I order whenever I go to a restaurant because I want to see what they can do. These guys do a homemade ruffle chip that is really really good and uh uh, they brought so many of them that we didn't uh the producer and i weren't able to finish them so i just brought them home last night and uh, had them with my dinner last night they are really really good so anyway uh wednesday the fall food festival and then on uh, saturday the hyderabad all right we have time for calls. If you would like, 303-696-1971. I want to share a movie. I want to tie it with a book. You suggested it. I want to talk about another book that I just got in the mail. And I want to spend some time on kombucha. K-O-M. 
D-U-C-H-A. Sharon called about it a couple weeks ago, and we're going to talk about it when we come back on the wrestling show. 